said we're back at it with the Sunoco Cup, the Sunoco Bush Grand National Series, and we're here at Texas for the O'Reilly Auto Parts 300 on the pole. Will be Jeremy Doobie in the number 69 Ford at 186.060 oh, miles an hour. Faith Johnson on the outside in the 86. Row number two will be Lena Savage in the number 95 Olds and Charles Jackson in the 59, making up the second row. Row number three will be Casey Hutchison in the number 45 and Emily Johnson, the winner, at South Boston in the number 71 Chevrolet. Row number four will be Gerald Ickmat in the number 81 and Grace Friedman in the 77. Kelsey McEwen in the 38 Ford makes up row five with Matthew Rodriguez on the outside. Zed Weinstein is on the inside of row six with Ann Batts in the 85, the winner at Daytona in the Ford. Followed by Keith Batson, her husband, in the 52 Ford, and Trey Roberts. Row number eight will be Celia Brewer, the pole sitter at Darlington, and Mike Doobie, Jeremy's brother. Adam Fiegel and Dougie Shears make up row number nine. Dougie was the pole sitter at South Boston. Then Jacob Rodriguez and Dunn Lapra. Dunn was our winner at Las Vegas. Ed Gardner and Jordan Hetzer make row number 11. Jordan was our winner at Darlington. Row number 12 be Courtney Winterbauer and Grace Gooden, our Nut points leader. Then it'll be Adam Chambers and Ralph Green. Alexander Wilson-Leach and Darnell Jones make row number 14. 15 will be Tim Fralick and Matt Richards. Jack Richards and Diana Panic make row 16. Juliet Leonard and Andre Castro. Tim Gardner, the winner at Rockingham, and Jason Buonk, Christina Cowan, and Hayden Klein. Then Christian Brennan, Nick Knotts, Ken Johnson, and Gabriella Bryan round out the field. The Daytona 500 pole sitter is in the back as we're going to go 20 laps around the one and a half mile Great American Speedway. That is Texas. Green flag flies and we are racing. Right off the bat, we're going to go three abreast. Lena Savage, Jeremy Doobie, and Faith Johnson. You got the Johnson sisters right there. Three abreast galore. And right behind, you have Jeremy Doobie. You have Emily Johnson behind her, him. Grace Friedman behind her. And Faith Johnson. Alongside, there's Keith Batson in the number 52. Napa Auto Parts for the Jimmy Hensley car from 1993. There's the Rodriguez brothers in there. We got a lot of the family in here. You got sisters, you got brothers, we've got husbands, we've got wives. You've got to have a favorite in this pack. And currently, leading the field is Gerald Dickmatt, but here comes Keith Batson. Trying to join the winner's circle that his wife has graced at Daytona. Celia Brewer, the pole sitter at Darlington right there in Sadikin. And Adam Fiegel, Tim, part of the Fiegel family, won Daytona in the Sunoco Cup cars. And then you have Jacob Rodriguez in the number 13, Glidden Paints Chevrolet, the Mike Skinner car from 92. Now here comes the number 43, Richard Petty, 1989, STP Pontiac of Adam Fiegel. And you see right there in the number 90, I do believe that's the number 93 car of... I do believe that is Ed Gardner coming in as Jacob Rodriguez leads the lap. Yep, that's Ed Gardner in the number 93 Pontiac. Try to join what his bro join what Tim has already done and win. Tim won at Rockingham, but the new leader right now is Courtney Winterbauer at the number 40 EDS Lumina. Courtney. Driving the car, Tommy Kendall, the famous road racer, drove in 1990. And then you have the number 47 of Alexander Wilson Leach, the Buddy Baker Olds. The legendary Buddy Baker Olds. And then you have Darnell Jones, the 41 Sitco Buick that was driven by James A Jamie Aubey, Bush Series racer. And there you just saw Adam Chambers in the zero who did not qualify at Bristol. Get in the mix there for a little bit. There's Tim Fralick. 
the food line, dinner bell, Pontiac going to the inside of, how about that Jeremy Doobie, our pole sitter right now, last of the field. As we are 7 of 20, there's Emily Johnson, our winner at South Boston, who's looking to try to get another win. And then you have Jack Richards, the number 27 McDonald's Ford, driven by Hut, a Hutch Strickland 93 car. For Junior Johnson, Juliet Leonard, the number 84 that was actually driven by Jimmy Horton, a dirt modified racer. And there's another one Try and look for a repeat. That's Timmy Gardner in the Kellogg's Corn Flakes Olds 1990. Going to be anybody's race right now as currently Juliet Leonard is leading. Tim Gardner right there behind. There's Christina Cowan, the pole sitter at Las Vegas. Hayden Klein right there. You got a couple Pontiacs trailing the Olds. And then you have Christian Brandon in the Dentine 87 Lumina that was driven by Joe Nemechek in 93. Three abreast again. Look back here a little bit. Uh-oh. It starts to get ridiculously tight down there as they shoot it down the backstretch. You see Courtney Witterbauer. Going up a little bit, trying to get in there nicely right behind Juliet Leonard. We're focusing on Diana Panic, the Pure X Ford. Our outside pole sitter at Daytona. And Ken Johnson currently leads the race in the days in 0-1. There's, there's Matt Richards, the pole sitter slash winner at Bristol. Our most recent winner in pole sitter. Right there behind... Jason Wong in the Detroit Gasket Olds as Nick Knotts is going to go to the inside of Gabrielle Gabriella Bryan. There we go. Now we're getting into a little bit more racing down there. It could get interesting at any given moment. It also could get da very d dangerous. It would not surprise me if something goes awry and I don't want to be jinxing myself. You see also back there a little bit. If you go a little farther back, you'll see the 0-1, our points leader, Grace Gunnan, the 02 Arco Olds. Right there in the middle of the field, right behind Jordan Hetzer, our winner at Darlington. Right now, the switching for positions. Andre Castro is going to have the lead, but there's the number 70 of Ralph Green getting in there. We are past the halfway point, and it is getting hot and heavy. Hopefully everybody can hold their own. Dud Laprat is in there, the winner at Las Vegas. Tried to go for his second. Jordan Hetzer tried to go for his second. Grace Gooden, the points leader, wanting to extend her lead. There's Dud Laprat. You have the number 90 of Mike Doobie. There, Mike, who's trying to do what right now his brother qualified the pro. Mike wants to win the race. Going up to the high side, there is the number zero one of, excuse me, the zero two of Grace Gooden, our points leader, gives up the lead to Mike Doobie. Now, Dud Laprad's going to get in there, as well as the number eight, 93 of Ed Gardner. Dunn is trying to get his second win for the year. Ed Gardner's got something to say with that. He wants to join. Tib as a winner, and he's going to get the lead right there. We are still going so far so good. There's Lita Savage again in the number 95. Shoney's in Olds. Following suit is Casey Hutchinson in the Kraft Foods Ford. As now it gets into another battle of sorts. There's Dougie Shears, our pole sitter at South Boston. Another lap, but the book's five to go. Let's see if we can have a clean race here. I hope I didn't jinx him. Well, there's Matthew Rodriguez in the number 14 right there in the mix. Right now, Trey Roberts leads the race. Gerald Dick about second. Dougie Shears is going to go right into third as he passes by the number 77 of Grace Gunnan. Following by is the number 
49 of, actually the number 59 of Charles Jackson, outside ball center. Dougie Shear is going to go to the inside of Gerald Ickmat, and he's going to do just that to take the number one spot. Four laps to go this time by, it'll be three to go. Charles Jackson is going to make a move now. There's the number 38 of Kelsey McEwen. There's Matthew Rodriguez. Three to go, and still so far clean. Let's hope it stays that way. We can have a wire. We'll have a great racing action going down to the finish. As there is the number 89 of, no, excuse me, the number 88 of Hayden Klein now making a move. Kelsey McEwen currently leads. There's the Rodriguez brothers in there. There's Jeremy Doobie, our pole sitter, with stepfather Keith Batson in there. Now Matthew Rodriguez drops off the pace. Now brother Jacob is going to try to move in there. Kelsey McEwen still leading with two to go this time by. White flag this time by. Can Jacob Rodriguez go in there? That is Jeremy Doobie. There is Keith Batson. Hayden Klein dropping back. Christina Cowan moving in. Jacob Rodriguez is going to get the lead in the Glidden Paints Lumina. And there's Keith Batson. And it will be Jacob Rodriguez leading. White flag, one more lap to go. Let's go right now. Here comes Keith Batson, the inside. He wants to join his wife as a winner, and he's got it so far. But he's got to look over his rough rear shoulder, and he sees Christina Cowan in the number 89, Evan Rude. Pontiac, and he's also got Tim Freilich, who's going to the inside. But now Christina Cowan's got the lead. He has enough. She has enough momentum, but can she hold off? Yes, she will. Christina Cowan will win the O'Reilly Auto Parts 300. A great showing in that last lap. A, a lot of tight racing, and it got to the wire. You had a great showing by Keith Batson. Of course, you also had a very good showing for Tim Freilich, as well as Faith Johnson. It was anybody's race. Christina Cowan will take the victory. Second spot will go to Keith Batson, Tim Freilich. The only difference was a thousands of a second separating those two for second. Faith Johnson will get fourth, Jacob Rodriguez fifth, Darnell Jones sixth, Kelsey McEwen had a good showing in the late race, seventh, Courtney Winterbauer, Jeremy Doobie, our pole sitter is ninth, Tim Gardner, 10th, Hayden Klein, 11th, Alexander Wilson Leach, Grace Friedman, Zed Weinstein, Lena Savage, Diana Panic, Christian Brannon, Trey Roberts, Ed Gardner, who had a good showing there, Adam Fiegel, Ken Johnson, Mike Doobie, Grace Gunnan, our points leader, Nick Knotts, Casey Hutchinson, Celia Brewer, Dougie Shears, Matthew Rodriguez, who was looking good for a while, Ralph Green, Charles Jackson, Julia Leonard, Gabriella Bryan, Gerald Dickman, who is consistent, Adam Chambers, and Batson, Emily Johnson, Jack Richards, Don Lamprad, Jason Wong, Jordan Hetzer, Matt Richards, and Andre Castro rounds out the field here at Texas. And the winner, Christina Cowan, gets a win. And it really makes the difference there. A great all out, anybody's race. And in the end, it, that Evan Root Pontiac got the victory. Looking over the point standings right now, Grace Gunnan is still the points leader, but by only four points separating her from Kelsey McEwen. Kelsey had a great showing as well. Mike Doobie got third. Keith Batson was up to fourth. Dougie Shears stays at the top five. Zed Weinstein, Nick Knotts, Christina Cowan with that win gets her in the top ten. Tim Freilich, Alexander Wilson Leach makes the top ten. Then Faith Johnson, Hayden Klein, Ralph Green, Tim Gardner, Jason Wong. Christian Brannon, Ed Gardner, Gerald Dickmont, Juliet Et Leonard, and Trey Roberts make the top 20. Following them will be Courtney Winterbauer, Jacob Rodriguez, Jordan Hetzer, Andre Castro, Adam Chambers, is number 25th, Gabriella Bryan, Charles Jackson, Emily Johnson, Dunn Laprad, two of our winners are 28th and 29th, Lena Savage, Adam Fiegel, Grace Friedman, Casey Hutchinson, Matt Richards, and Batson, and a couple more of our winners, Celia Brewer, Ken Johnson, Matthew Rodriguez, Darnell Jones, and Jeremy Doobie with that pole doesn't really help, and he's still at the bottom of the field, as well as Diana Panic and Jack Richards, both of which not having a good showing as we're seven events in of 40. But the next event for the Sunoco Bush Cars will be the world's fastest super speedway, Talladega, the Aarons 312. 
Who's going to come out the victor there? We will find out. But we got the cup cars and their aspect at Texas coming up next.